Hi, friends, and welcome to today's encouragement from Our Daily Bread. I'm Kirsten Holmberg, and I titled this reading, Singing Over Us. A young father held his baby boy in his arms, singing to him and rocking him in soothing rhythm. The baby was hearing impaired, unable to hear the melody or the words. Yet the father sang anyway, in a beautiful, tender act of love toward his son. And his efforts were rewarded with a delightful smile from his little boy. The imagery of the father-son exchange bears a striking resemblance to the words of Zephaniah. The Old Testament prophet says that God will joyfully sing over his daughter, the people of Jerusalem. God enjoys doing good things for his beloved people, such as taking away their punishment and turning back their enemies. Zephaniah says they no longer have any reason for fear and instead have cause for rejoicing. We as God's children, redeemed by the sacrifice of Jesus Christ, sometimes are hard of hearing, unable or perhaps unwilling to tune our ears to the exuberant love God sings over us. His adoration of us is like that of the young father who lovingly sang to his son despite his inability to hear. He has taken away our punishment too, giving us further reason to rejoice. Perhaps we might try to listen more closely to hear the joy ringing loudly in his voice. Father, help us to hear your loving melody and savor being held safely in your arms. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from Zephaniah chapter 3, verses 14 through 17. Sing, daughter Zion, shout aloud, Israel. Be glad and rejoice with all your heart, daughter Jerusalem. The Lord has taken away your punishment. He has turned back your enemy. The Lord, the King of Israel, is with you. Never again will you fear any harm. On that day, they will say to Jerusalem, Do not fear, Zion. Do not let your hands hang limp. The Lord your God is with you, the mighty warrior who saves. He will take great delight in you. In his love, he will no longer rebuke you, but will rejoice over you with singing. Let's pray. Thank you, God, for taking great delight in us. May we always listen to your voice as you joyfully sing over us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.